Hey guys, and good morning. Um, I want to apologize about my last video because it was so fucking rambly that you couldn't really understand what I was trying to get at. And it was a really important point that I was really trying to get at and I just couldn't get to it. And that's why I sucked at school because I could not summarize or condense my thoughts um, small enough <laughs> to make anybody happy. But anyway... I wanted to make that video because it was very important. The message was important. And the message was um, that no matter what titles and labels you are given at the beginning of your life and throughout your life, you can change them. You can drop them off. You can rip them off and throw them away and burn them. You have a core being within yourself. We all do. And it is very important for you to find that core being, that core, what makes you happy, what what drives you, what uh, is your passion, what do you, what on your in your day to day, what do you do that makes you feel like you're having the most fun, or that makes you forget about time, or that makes it time go by quicker. Um, those are all things that um, anything that you do that that. Uh, gives you those results is something that you should be following with a theory because that's your passion that's what you love and that's what will drive you and that's what will help you to work um, in a way that feels like playing and that's the best thing to do because you never want to get in a stuck in a job just because you need money because you're gonna end up unhappy and your life is going to tank um, you always want to um, instead of, you know, chasing money, chase your, your passion, chase that feeling, chase that high that your passion gives you when you do it. You know, you understand? That's what I was trying to get at. Like, it doesn't matter, like, what we experience through life. We can go through the hardest shit in life and you can still come out a good person and you can still come out on top. Um, it's all about self-love, though. You have to, like, drive yourself because you are the only person standing behind you and cheering like is it even though you feel like you've got people and you probably do most of y'all probably have people that are like genuinely in your corner cheering um but a lot of us out here uh we experience life differently you know we um most of the time have to go through it alone which is okay uh you know i don't think any of us are supposed to be attached so deeply to the physical realm personally um and that was the point of my last video was to <laughs> do what you need to do to find out and shed the layers of <clears throat> to find out who you are and shed the layers of the labels you've been given because we are all given labels when we're born we're all given labels as we grow you know we can either be labeled as good bad in between i don't know um, but hold on guys, the trash people are coming. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys my garden. I hope that cleared up that video on that because I didn't want, um, people to watch it. I know a lot of you, I, pretty much everyone who watched it was confused, as was I. I'm, tr those types of videos, when you see them, they're mainly for me to just dissect my thoughts. Um, I'm, and I'll always follow up a rambly video with one of these videos to clear up what I was trying to say because I don't know it's just easier for me to do it that way um, and it helps me to dissect what I'm what I'm trying to to uh, to think about you and like you know like it, it helps me to dissect my thoughts each one of them individually instead of like um, letting it get jumbled up like it was but um, look at my garden from here. As you guys can see, <laughs> the sunflowers back here, they're getting really tall. Right there. Um, let's just show you because the trash people are coming in. They're pretty freaking loud. Hold on. I'm going to pause this till they leave. Well, you know what? They're taking longer than I expected. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. Um, let me put you guys right here so I can show you how 
how freaking tall these sunflowers are, all right? I'm 5'9", guys. And it's, it's about as tall as I am, as you can see. So that's the tallest one here. And it looks like it's starting to form its Fibonacci sequence, which as you know, is how the flowers and plants, they form their, um, their leaves and their petals, they do it in the Fibonacci sequence, which is pretty cool. So that's the sunflowers, that's how big they are. Um, and then we've got these other plants over here, these zinnias. Look at all these zinnias, they're about to bloom. There's so many of them. All these really tall ones are zinnias. <laughs> I need to get some um, things from my garden to keep them standing upright because they fall down. Because the freaking fat cats like to lay in the garden. You see these, this fat cat here? She likes to lay inside the garden. Okay, and then I found out my what I thought were carrots were actually marigolds that I planted. So... There's a little marigold, and I put the a rotten watermelon out here for like the bugs and the deer and whatever else comes out to eat. Um, and my morning glories, or my moonflowers, are right there doing really good. And my lettuce is doing good. As you can see, my lettuce right here. That's the lettuce. So yeah, lemon balm. Oh look guys, watermelon. I've got some watermelon planted, excited for that. Love watermelon. Um, the chamomile, chamomile's looking good. Chamomile is a strange plant. Um, I didn't realize how quick it spread by itself um, because a couple years ago, I planted it only in one spot in the garden. Now it's come up, come back up in a few different spots. Um, and then we've got these flowers up here. Let me show you. See if you can see them. See behind me right there? Oh, well, right behind me, right there. That plant has been there. Well, I've been here in this house three years. That's the first time I've seen that plant. Um, bloom any flowers usually it just has like grass sticking up from it um some type of like uh it almost looks like a uh a daffodil grass or something uh, but it it popped up with this giant stalk and it grew that those like white bell-shaped flowers on it and it was really it's really pretty i don't know what kind of um flower it is. I heard it was like a hemlock or uh, I can't remember what, what the word was. Anyway, if any of y'all know what kind of flower that is, uh, you should let me know. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope that you are liking my videos. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry about the last one. It was so rambly. You couldn't understand what I was saying, but like I said in the beginning of this video, I will always follow up a rambly video with um, my clear thoughts and what I was trying to say. Um, so yeah, I apologize for that. It will those will be few and far between. Um, my next you know couple videos are going to be really good ones. Um, I've got a couple things planned for you. I've got a story I want to tell you guys and some life advice that I would like to throw your way. Um, so yeah. Hope you guys are having a good one and thank you for watching my videos and thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being awesome and I love y'all. Bye.